Hello everyone. In our video today we will be looking at the initial programming and setup for an L9100 air column gauge. Uh, there are a series of three videos which will deal with the programming of the unit and today we'll look at uh, in this first video some of the general aspects of programming. Now when AC power is first applied to a column an initial sign-on is displayed for several seconds which also shows the software version number of the column. After this, the operating display comes up. We recommend that a column never be put into part measurement operation or be mastered until you have waited at least five minutes and preferably 10 minutes. This gives the column electronics time to warm up and to come to a steady state condition. When you first apply power, the bar display may flash for a split second. This is normal and is not indicative of a problem. The digital display is a backlit LCD unit, and the primary function is to indicate the digital size of the part being measured. The numeric value will be preceded by either a plus or a minus sign. It will only ever be negative if you, if you are measuring the tolerance of a part, and will also only be negative if the bar display drops below the center reference zero position. In actual size mode, if a nominal part size is programmed in, then it will always be positive. If the column is programmed for imperial operation in inches, there will be two digits before the decimal, followed by another five digits. If programmed for metric operation, there will be three digits before the decimal and four digits following. Below this, you can optionally program the unit to display various status conditions, such as high out of tolerance, OK, low out of tolerance, approach high or low, etc. There are three enunciators available for this with indicator lights which come on or off depending on the position of the bar display. Under the status indicators, there are two sliding bar indicators. The left one indicates the relative position of the electronic zero control within the column, and the right one, the position of the electronic gain control for the part number which is currently engaged. The reason for these indicators is that you don't want to be operating the column with either of these two settings at the extreme right or the extreme left of its operating range. To do so means that you are limiting the electronic mastering ability of the column and you may run into error messages when auto mastering. Ideally, the closer these controls are to their mid positions, the better off you are and we will show you how to adjust these positions in another video. Below these bar graph displays are two lines of text. The first one indicates the column station number and the column number, which you have programmed uh, for this unit. On the right side, you will see something like a P1. This indicates the part setup number, which is currently engaged, and it can range from P1 through P8. So there are eight setup configurations available in the L9100 column, each with separate programming and calibration settings. This allows you to use the same column for measuring eight different part types, which are similar in nature, but may have some sizing differences. At the bottom of the display is a text line where the user can enter a short description of the part being measured or a part number, or any desired information. Again, the text line is programmable for each of the eight available part numbers. There are four square push buttons on the front panel. In the normal measurement mode, the upper left one allows you to enter the program mode of the column. Now it's necessary to hold the button in for about three seconds in order to enter the program mode. This is done deliberately to avoid accidentally getting into that mode. You can also set up a security code number to prevent unauthorized entry into the programming. The right button allows you to enter the auto mastering mode. This function will be explained in the mastering video. 
the lower two buttons, which are labeled as U1 and U2, are both user programmable in operating mode. For example, one could be programmed as a data read button and another as a TIR mode button, if you so wished. If you are in the program mode rather than the operating mode, the upper left button acts as an enter key to accept program selections. The two lower keys act as up and down arrow keys, allowing you to scroll through the menu items. And the upper right button functions as a back key to move you out of a menu item. When you enter the program mode of the column, there are typically three selections. The first is part select one through eight. This item only appears if the column is programmed to allow you uh, for more than one part display. When you press enter, a uh, menu appears allowing you to scroll between one and eight with the up down arrow keys. When you press enter again, the column will be programmed with all of the parameters which are specific to that particular part setup number. Now, if you don't wish to change the current part number, then just ignore this selection. The second menu item is program, and you select this if you wish to edit the programming or calibration for the part number which has been currently selected. The third menu item is exit, Selecting this or pressing the back key will exit back to the normal operating mode. Well, this completes our video uh, for the first part of the programming, uh, and we will be continuing in the next video with uh, some of the initial setup programming for the column.